Okay, hello. Today we're going to make a close-up flower drawing in the style of George O'Keeffe. So George O'Keeffe liked to make um, paintings, many paintings of close-up flowers. And one reason is because sometimes when you look at things up close, you almost forget the subject. And the subject means what it's about. So the subject here is a flower. So when we look at things up close, we kind of change the perception and we start looking at it almost like an abstract picture. Like we almost forget the subject and we kind of start focusing on the uh, elements of art. And the elements of art, of course, are kind of the ingredients of the design, meaning um, the color, the line, the shape, the texture, you know, the way the surface looks like it feels, um, the value, you know, values when we have light and dark, so things look kind of 3D, like, like shadows. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a blank piece of paper, and we'll start from scratch, okay? So we're gonna make the drawing um, of the flower. Now, again, we don't have to do exactly, it doesn't have to look exactly like mine. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with some sketches. I'm gonna make a half circle off to the side. Okay, so again, remember sketching, sketching means we make lots of mistakes, and then what we do, eventually we get rid of the extra lines. So sketching is, is a good way to begin. When we like our shape, we can outline it, and we can make a contour over it. Okay, I'm gonna do another one in the center here. Okay, so there's, so my sketch, so I'm starting with the center. Now we're gonna start with the petals. Okay, so I'm gonna make my petals. And I, now the petals are, are, we're so close up that things are gonna get run off the edge, so I can't see the top of the petal, okay? Um, and then what we're gonna do now, we'll make, we're just gonna do the petals that are kind of in the front, and then we'll make the ones kind of behind. So they're gonna get kind of pointy, and then round towards the bottom. Okay, and then they kind of come in here, okay? So we're just gonna start making our petals, okay? Again, they could be diff a little different because, you know, all flowers look different. They don't always look exactly the same. Okay, so we'll put another one here. Make them nice and long too. Let them like really come out. And, and of course, let them run off this, the edge of the paper. It's okay, all right? So there's the first set of, of petals. Now I'm gonna make the ones that look like they're behind it. So I'm gonna, again, make them like that. So now it kind of looks, you know, we're making like a sunflower. Uh, so it kind of looks like they're behind, okay? Okay, I'll put one more there. Okay, so now, so now and we're, oh, we're gonna make a leaf too. We're gonna make a, a giant leaf here. Okay, so we're gonna have a nice big green leaf. And for now, we're gonna make a line down here. We call it a vein, so like that. Okay, so now we're ready to color. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with yellow. All right, so we're gonna color the petals. Okay, so now you, you don't have to fill everything in when you, when you color, I'm using a crayon as you can see. You don't have to, you could leave a little, like color it, but leave a little space because we want to add more color. Okay, so you don't want to press too hard at first. All right, so. All right, so I'm just gonna add a little color here. So I'm not actually going to color the entire um, thing for now. I'll just show, I'll just, just do an area just to kind of get a sense, okay? So I'll just leave those others blank for now, okay? So I'm just going to color, and add some yellow, because that's going to be the majority of our color for these petals. Okay, and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some orange, right? And I'm going to do kind of an upstroke, and I want to kind of add a little more color to my petals. It's going to start, and we're going to kind of start making things look a little more 3D. All right, a little more like that. So I'm gonna put some, I'm overlapping right on top, okay? So I'm gonna add a little. And again, the I'm doing this like direction going up like that, okay? All right, I'm actually gonna take a little red too, because, um, just to get a little more color, just a little dark, okay? Just to get a little more, just gonna put a couple strokes of red in there. All right, the more colors we blend, the more interesting. Okay, all right. And then I'm gonna take, um, now I'm gonna take my black. All right, we can outline if we want. And we're gonna start working on the shadow of, of this. So what's gonna happen is the in-between petals here, I'm just gonna outline this just so I can see the shapes nice and strong. Okay, so the inside here, I'm gonna just start adding a little shadow. 
uh, just to make it look a little more three-dimensional, okay? Because, it, you know, when light gets blocked, we have, uh, you know, then we have shadow, okay? So again, these little in-between areas, we can add a little more shadow here. All right. All right, so, okay. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the, um, so, you know, we can add a little more. And yeah, because you can make a little couple lines just to kind of give it, again, what we call texture, okay? I'm going to add a couple lines up here just to give it a little more okay um, I'm gonna take some brown and I'm gonna color this inside here brown okay just for now I'm just gonna do this side okay so what we want to do is we want to create like a texture of like the seeds of the uh, picture okay so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna color this you know I'm gonna make a brown okay um, Okay, I'm gonna outline it in black. So it starts coming through pretty fast, you know. I'm gonna outline this half circle. All right, we'll come back to that guy in a second. Then we're gonna take our black, and I'm gonna make several little scribbles. And you know, I can't draw every single seed, so I'm just gonna start again. See what I'm doing? I'm just making lots and lots of scribbles. Okay, so I keep doing that, and you know, it's gonna create again what we call texture, more texture. Okay, so I'm gonna keep doing that inside here. Um, actually, I'm gonna color it brown first okay then I'm gonna take some my black I'm just gonna overlap it so I'm creating a, a darker value okay okay so I'm gonna keep doing that and like you know on the edges here I'm gonna add a little more um, black okay just to kind of give more shadow and again I'm just gonna keep doing a bunch of scribbles see we're gonna keep scribbling and scribbling and scribbling okay and um, Eventually, you know, we're, again, you're going to keep adding a little more scribbles to fill out more of the space. Um, also, in the leaf, what we're going to do is we're going to color the leaf green, right? And we're going to leave the inside, that little area, the vein we call that, we're going to leave that white, okay? So we could go around it, okay? So I'll show you how to do that really fast here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trace around it with my, my dark green. Okay, just to leave a little border like that. And then eventually I'm gonna color it in. So I'm gonna leave that little border of uh, white in the middle. So it kind of looks like the glare. Okay, so let me show you again. So again, we're gonna leave that area white, okay? Um, and also you can add a little, again, shadow to the leaf, okay? And then of course you can fill in the background uh, blue if you'd like. And, and you know, once again, when we talk about contrast remember contrast means opposite we have warm colors we have remember we used yellow we have orange and a little red and then we have some cool colors we have green and blue all right so you can work on that on your own and enjoy